what if we decide that in October, we wanted to be that person. We wanted to be the person that when we enter a room, everyone is lit up by our energy. We are the power. Hi, my name is Pernilla and this is my Challenge Your Norm podcast. I'm absolutely obsessed with anything related to personal development and well, to grow, we gotta challenge our norm. And so on this podcast, we chat about life and how we can challenge our normal way of living it to make it greater than we could have ever imagined. Just one little belief, habit, bold move and, and challenge at a time. Hello, my beautiful friend, and welcome back to another episode here on my Challenger Norm podcast. My name is Pranella, and today I want to talk with you about the power of setting an intention before doing anything. I first understood and realized the power of doing this back in 2019. And at this time in my life, I was still working full time as a model and as a dancer and really just trying my best to get by, meaning that I would take pretty much any job that I could get that would help me pay the bills. And I remember that at this time, I'd, I had not been getting that many jobs. I feel like with modeling and dancing, a lot of it goes in season. Sometimes you'll be having jobs all the time. And during this time, I had not had had so many jobs. And so I was eager to do anything really. And I had gotten this job in Vegas for a full week where every single day I would be spending 10 hours working at this stance, an IT company that had gotten this new product. And what a lot of businesses do is that when they then show their product at an expo is that they hire models to kind of attract customers to come over and check out the product. So I was there with, it was me as the female model. Then there was also a guy model. Um, and I was standing there for 10 hours a day talking about this tech product that I really didn't really care about. And during the first few days, I was just not loving it. I'm sure we can all relate to having had to do a task or a job that we just did not enjoy. But then I think it was about day three, I asked myself, okay, what if my goal for today, instead of standing there and being miserable, and no one would be able to tell that I was miserable. It was just on the inside. I just was not loving it because I just wanted to dance. I just wanted to create. I just wanted to do all these other things, obviously. Um, over standing here talking about this tech product that I didn't even really understand myself. I asked myself, what if my goal for today was to see how many people I can make smile. How many people can I make sure that their de day after talking to me is a million times better? How can I make as many people feel as good as possible in these 10 hours that I have to stand at this dance? And what I very quickly realized is that when that was my focus, first of all, my energy completely shifted. I made people happy. I saw a lot of smiles and I felt good. I think that when we have the intention of trying to make other people feel good, we automatically will feel good. So we're, we're doing it for other people, but really we're also doing it for ourselves. And so I'm sharing this with you because maybe you right now are in a season of life where you are doing work that you do not enjoy. And I would love for you to ask yourself, what if I made the focus of bringing as much value as I could, putting as many smile, uh, putting as many smiles to people's faces as possible? Or how can I, you know, do a really great job at doing this task that I have to be doing? Like, how can I develop my skills and getting better? Like focus on something that is not surrounded by how miserable you feel doing this task, because automatically you are going to feel better. And the end result is also going to be feeling better, which like meaning other people are going to feel better. The product that you're going to be developing, the tasks that you're going to be doing better when you're in a positive state of mind. And there's many different ways to approach this. It can also be setting the intention before a workout. How can I make sure that every single rep that I'm doing in this workout is going to really push me towards becoming stronger? both mentally, but also physically. How can I make sure that my muscles are really going to be challenged in this workout? It could be if I have a day where I don't feel like shooting a video, how can I make sure to have as much fun as possible? How can I make sure to focus on the fact that I am so lucky that I get to do this for a living? That is something that I once dreamed about and at the time thought was impossible. So if I one day have a day where I don't feel like shooting, how dare I? I get to do this. You know, having 
and switch up in mentality. I, I even, my car has gotten towed a few times because I'm not, you know, there's certain things I'm very disciplined in and there's other things where I, you know, sometimes tend to forget to think a little bit. So my car has gotten towed a few times and I've gotten a few tickets and, you know, things like that happen in life. And I am really practicing, like setting the intention of not letting it bother me saying to myself, there's a reason for this. And often when I say that to myself, what the reason for it was, and sometimes I don't ever realize that, but I, I know that I'm growing, I'm evolving as I am going through these little bit of challenges in life. And it's, it's everything in life is what is the thing that we're focusing on? And that will drive our mood, the result of the thing we're doing, and it will compound effect in all other areas of our life, right? Like if we have the intention of really killing our workout, let's say, and we really do, we feel so good afterwards. And that leads to every other conversation that you have throughout the day being better, every other task you're doing being better throughout the day. And maybe you, because you have energy from that workout, you end up cleaning the room that you had been procrastinating for a little bit. Like how can you show up in the way that you actually deep down want to? I had a dance job in the other week. I've been having a few dance jobs and modeling jobs recently. I just decided that I wanted to get back to doing that a little bit more. So every week I've had maybe a few. Um, and I did a, a dance job that I was really excited to get. And then the day came and I was feeling a little tired. And it wasn't too bad, but I just, again, decided to set the intention as to, okay, how can I make sure to to add as much value to the people that are on this job also or help them feel better? How can I, you know, show up as a curious human that just wants to help the other people that are on this job? Because a lot of the time when you're on a dance job or when you're on a modeling job, there's a lot of time where you're waiting around either in like the wardrobe or while you're getting your hair and makeup done. And it's like, how can I make sure to make the makeup artist feel seen and heard and, and feel good? And it's, it's authentic when I set this on to intention, I naturally then actually become curious where I could have easily not have set this intention and just kind of been in my own space, you know, thinking about my own things that I had to do when I came home from the dance job and thinking about how do I solve this problem or, oh, I could maybe answer this email right now, you know, things like that. When I've set the intention of being curious and how can I help these other people or, you know, at least make them feel good or just show up as the kind of person that I really want to be, it just naturally comes that I, I naturally... I'm more excited about it as well. And I ended up actually, there were two, this was two people from production um, who were very curious about like just fitness getting in shape. And then um, I ended up like giving them an, an entire plan as to how they could achieve their fitness goals um, when it comes to nutrition and a little bit of training as well. And and just like, I'm so happy leaving the the day, having gone through a dance job like this, having set that intention because not only, you know, when we provide value, we feel so good within, but also that's way more meaningful than if I had decided, oh, I can get a few emails in here. I can do some editing here, and which I could have easily have done. And sometimes maybe that is the kind of vibe that I'm in, that I want to be in. Um, but asking ourselves, like, how do I actually want to show up? What would my best self do? And then asking ourselves that before we enter this whatever experience we're about to have and then showing up as that. I just think it's beautiful. We've all experienced being in a room and then someone enters that room that you can just tell. They are on a high. Their energy is just on another level. And we're inspired, we're intrigued by who they show up as. And the beauty is that we can all show up as that if we decide to do so. We are in control of how we want to show up. And I am so imperfect in this. It is a practice for me and I am practicing just as I know a lot of you guys are. We're all on this self-development journey here together at the Challenger Norm podcast um, because we're all here to challenge our norm so that we can become better. So I know you guys are all practicing this in your own way, um, but I just often need a reminder in case you did too, to um, set an intention. Maybe you have kids and you are still, usually when you come home from work, you're still like wrapped up in all these work tasks. How can you maybe take a breather in your car for 60 seconds before you enter your home and decide, okay, I'm going to put these issues from work aside and I'm going to show up as the most loving parent I can right now. It's just about taking that little 60 second moment of setting our intention 
before we enter a room, before we enter that next experience that can make the entire experience beautiful and different and, and be present in it as well. I feel like it helps me be present. That's something I really want to be better at, being present in every moment. I think we all know like when we have a lot on our plate, it can be a challenge to be present. But again, if we set the intention, the chances of us being present, showing up as the human that we actually want to be gets far greater. There was a girl on um, the call with my October transformation challenge, which by the way, if you're listening to this on October 3rd on Tuesday or even on October 4th, Wednesday. Um, I mean, anytime really, you can still sign up for the October challenge. We'll be doing weekly calls every single week and the Facebook group is going off. I absolutely love it so much. It's exciting. And the when you get the challenge, you'll have it for a lifetime. So if you're like, if you start the workouts a week late, it doesn't matter because you can just keep doing the workouts again and again and again. The journaling challenge, the nutritional guide, all of it is there to be used for a lifetime. Like my, my goal with my October transformation challenge is to set you up for success long term when it comes to your mental, physical, and just everything in between that you need in order for you to actually achieve your goal. And we have 90 days left. We have 90 days left of this year. A lot can happen in 90 days. So if you have been debating it and you forgot to get started and you want to join, you're more than welcome to get it. I'll put it in the show notes as well. But what I meant to say was that we were on a call, our first call with the October challengers. And this one girl at the end of the call, she's like, I just want to come on here and she she shares her a few things from her life and i could just tell that every single one on that group call like their their faces just lit up and i teared my eyes out a little bit because it was just so beautiful the words that she shared but what afterwards after she had spoken and we all were just like so lit up by whatever she said, I, I mentioned this, that's how I got reminded of like, I should really make a podcast episode about this because it's been on my mind for the last month or so, how everyone was lit up by her energy. And what if we decide that in October, we wanted to be that person. We wanted to be the person that when we enter a room, everyone is lit up by our energy. We are the power, the source for good. Like, what if we decided that in October and hopefully moving onward, that is how we wanted to show up. We wanted to be the support, the helper. We wanted to be, I don't know what we, what you, what season of life you're in right now that you want to show up as, but whatever it is, what if you decided to set the intention before entering any room and showing up as that person? How beautiful is that? I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I am really trying to grow this podcast and you have no idea how much it means to me if you would write a review or give me some stars or share it on your social media or with a friend who you think could find this useful. It means the absolute world to me that you're even here listening. Thank you so much. I hope you walk out into the world today setting these intentions before entering rooms because I think if you've never tried it before, very quickly you will be blown away by what shifts happen when you start doing this. And if you have done it before, maybe you just needed the little reminder as I often do and then keep it up because I'm going to, I'm going to try my best as well. Thank you so much for listening. And remember that in order for you to grow, you have to challenge your norms.